Got it. Close it off. Okay. Nice. Close in. Close in. Close in. All right. Can we do it here, Mark? Yes, it looks as if the wolf has settled in the corner, which is just what we want for the wife hole. Okay, we still don't quite have the control we want, so. We're going to have to make this a little tighter. This wolf will snap. So now we're going to put the Y pole in front of us a little bit more. Rod, are you okay with what you got? Oh, yeah, I'm good. All right. All right. We're going to take, uh, take about, Terry, you stay where you are a moment. Uh, ladies, you step three, four steps. Okay, and stop. Good. Okay, Susan up, Jenny up. Okay, folks, we have a Y-polling situation here. This is pretty much a very likely deal. I'm going to move in. Um, Terry, I'm going to have you and me switch because you're going to be my hip person. Okay. So we're going to switch. Make the Y-pole as least threatening as possible. Okay, Jenny and Susan close in. Now I'm going to interact with the animal a little bit more. Now the focus now for me is not to catch the animal. The focus is to greet the animal and my combination, my uh, energy should be a combination of dominance and compassion. And I'm first going to let the animal bite it. Here we go. The animal can bite it. I'm going to greet the animal. There we go. It's kind of like shaking with a limp wrist. Let it bite it again. There we go. And, and we have now entered into the animal space. Look at the flight distance. It used to run when it was on the other side of the pen. And now it's almost getting bored. We haven't won the situation yet. The animal has not submitted. Mexican wolves don't go into a submission quite so easily. Terry, I want you to take two steps up. What do you need from me, Mark? Um, the main thing is just closing the space. So I'm going to have you move a little bit to the left. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Yep. And make that stick less threatening. But use it to protect you. Mm -hmm. now, now, one way to increase the animal's defensiveness is to pull away when they bite it. You can actually make them more difficult to work with. If they bite and you pull away, that gives them affirmation. So I am entering this animal's space physically and psychologically. You can see its eyes look a little bit concerned. So it's actually getting in a defensive mode. I'm at a bad angle. I'm standing too far to the front of the animal. I'm going to move more perpendicular. Okay. Terry, I want you to put the white pole on in the flank. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Susan, come in between us. And move in the flank a little bit more, Terry, if you can. Get that lower tine in the flank. Lower tine in the flank. Yes, there we go. Do it smooth but steady. Don't go too slow, but don't spook the animal. Just do it. Don't get near that face. Good. Back off. All right. So there's the first step. Now that we have the towel, you can see we can move around the animal, do all kinds of things. It not only increases our safety because the animal cannot follow our movements,
but also it calms the animal down. Their heartbeat literally drops when their head is covered, so we're already decreasing the step. Um, so at this point we have to uh, collect blood, treat the ears, the animal's already been vaccinated, and we're going to do a temperature just to show how cool this is uh, versus netting the animal, how much cooler the animal is. So, All right, Terry, what would you like? Okay, I'm going to grab the front right leg. Okay. Okay, Rod, you lead the, I'll have the towel here. Yeah, okay. Actually, the, the towel, Jenny can pick up as she swings it to the right. So you two lead. Okay. Jenny, we got an opening. It's going to go your direction, Mark. Okay, I'm clear. On three. One, two, three. Watch this up yourself. You slowly ease back. this towel, I'm just going to reach in, 